So this is called uh, D25A. Do you see this? I do. Did you prepare <clears throat> this that day? Yes. And uh, did you engage in a cover-up to try to hide Gwyneth's reckless skiing? Objection relevance. Overruled. No, I did not. Is that um, ridiculous and offensive? It's very much so. Um, part of what we're required to do is, if there is an incident, um, if there's an injury, it's mandatory that everything that we uh, be written down in a report. And uh, on instances where there's a, a bump or a, or something like that, where there are no injuries, it's up to us to decide whether it is prudent to fill out the report. And I decided it was prudent that day. Okay. And uh, exact location of incident. You wrote what? I wrote skiers right bandana slight pitch before the flat on top. Okay. Is that an accurate statement? It is. Number of students. You said there was what? Um, there were six in group, two instructors. Okay. Now. There's been some testimony that Brad, her then boyfriend, now husband, also had two kids out with separate instructors. Is that true? That is correct. And But they weren't in that group of six that was coming down bandana. Is that right? That is correct. All right. Students ability. Now, was Gwyneth the student here or is Moses? Well, Moses was my student that I was skiing okay. with. But Gwyneth was the person in the incident, so I wrote her name on the top. There's some uh, suggestion that uh, immediately before this incident, somehow Moses was going, Hey, Mommy, look at me, look at me. Did you observe that? That did not happen. And how do you know that? Because I was next to him. Okay. Um, so again any implication that she was distracted because she was looking across the hill to Moses you would dispute? Objection, speculation, bleeding. Just clarifying Sus an important point. Bleeding. Well, plaintiff has raised an issue and I want to know if your thought on it. The thought is that the plaintiff has asserted is that you uh, Right before the incident, Moses was saying, Mommy, Mommy, look at me. And your, your thought on that? Objection leading, lacks foundation, mistakes prior testimony. Overruled the jury, we'll have to remember the prior testimony. Go ahead. Okay. Did that happen? I never saw that happen. Okay. As we were skiing along, we were basically making our own turns. Miss Paltrow, was skiing down, making very nice, short radius turns, and we were separated by the width of the of the bandana run. I was skiing with nine-year-old son. Group was skiing down bandana to lunch. Is that all true? That is correct. What was the student doing at the time of the incident? Um, short turns down the fall line on skiers' right. By the way, is, had Gwyneth skied with you all morning with Moses? I think we took one initial run together and then we split up with uh, the intention of being at the top of, of Flagstaff Hill at a certain time to go to the lunch. All right. And had you and Moses already been on some ski runs without Gwyneth? Yes. And how many about? Probably in that uh, time span about four or five. Short turns down fall line. Is that what that says, fall line? Yes, fall what is, line. What does that mean again? The fall line is if you were to take a round object like a ball, set it down, it's the path that it would follow, follow, follow down the hill. So it's basically the most correct downhill line. On skiers right. So the reference is where on the run? Correct. Next. Skiers right would be as you're facing down the hill, would be here, skiers left, of course, over here. Next portion. Chief complaint, would you read your answer? Mel Skier took her out from behind. I didn't see it, but heard her scream as she went down. 
I skied directly to her. The man was behind her. Uh, both were in discomfort. During lunch, uh, she uh, talked of being stiff and sore. All right, let's just talk about that. Um, male skier took her out from behind. Why did you say that? Because of the positioning of their bodies on the ground, but also he was, I clearly observed him as the uphill skier. Now you can't, uh, right on the skier responsibility code, it says that the uphill skier has the responsibility to avoid the downhill skier. Because as we're skiing, our vision cannot see behind us. And that's the reason for the responsibility code. And since I s observed him moving very rapidly down the hill and only missed a few moments b before the contact, I can clearly say that he was the uphill skier. Did you determine one of them violated the, re the skier responsibility code? That would be my observation. Um, way beyond the scope of this witnesses. Witnesses. He's not an expert witness. Overruled. And who, who, who did you believe violated the responsibility code and who complied with it? I would say that the up... As to that question. Okay. What did you find at the time with regard to the skier responsibility code? Sustained. Okay. May I consult with my counsel? It's just one sec. All right, next statement here. First oh, of all, is this a it? true statement? Is what you said, were you speaking the truth when you prepared this report? Okay. Uh, where were you in relationship to the student at the time of the incident? I was above the student. Okay. Um, did you witness the incident? I, had, I said no, because I did not see the impact. If not, how did you become aware of the incident? I saw the immediate aftermath. Was ski okay. patrol called or first aid visited? You, you marked what? I marked no because we did not call patrol because patrol came along very soon after that. And to the right there, what did you write? Name of patroller. Um, I did not catch the name. I wish that I had. But uh, once again, if there had been comments of, oh, I'm, I'm hurt, something's wrong, things like that. Things would have changed very quickly. But what happened was um, I was in the process of helping Mr. Sanderson get his skis back on. Um, I, I had my skis off and both he and Mr. Ramon were there together. The patrollers came by and one of them came up to us and said, asked if they needed any assistance. Say. Uh, this is what I see. He, he is explaining a story. This is exactly what I observed. I guess for a limited purpose, not necessarily a, as to the truth of what this person said, but as to why he acted the way he did. So it's limited purpose evidence. Okay, thank okay. you. Keep going. Limit, okay, so, the said. so the patroller asked if they needed assistance. Mr. Sanderson and Mr. Ramon spoke to each other. I was just kneeling on the snow. I, was, I did not hear what they said, but they turned to the patroller and said, no, we're fine, or something to that effect. And so the two patrollers continued down the hill. And then as the student returned to skiing, uh, that's Ms. Paltrow, but comment, did, did you see uh, Mr. Sanderson then ski away? I was the last one to put on my ski. So they, Mr. Sanderson, Mr. Ramon, were already in their skis. I was the very last one to leave. And so I, I, I can't recall exactly how they skied off.
but we basically either skied off together at the same time or they left slightly ahead of me. Okay, we're going to look at the end of this report and move on here. Additional information, you wrote Carrie Oaks, correct? Right, she was the other instructor that was there. Additional comments, first thing male skier stated. Ski stated. Oh, ski. Male ski skier stated. Should, should be male skier. Was that she appeared right in front of him, uh, him, thus admitting that he was the uphill skier. She never saw him because he came in from behind. It was that your finding on that day? That was my finding, yes. So there's, I think, a comment that uh, because she was tipping you for your service uh, that you falsified your report. Is that true? That is ridiculous. Uh, it says this was reviewed by Liz Wright. Uh, 